Let's use the man utility to get some information about sockets on our system. If I just type man socket, I get chapter 2 of the Linux programmer's manual. I get the page in there in chapter 2 that has to do with sockets. And this is a pretty general page that tells me a lot of information about sockets and different protocols that they can use. If I want to get a list of all the pages that are called socket, I do man-f socket. You see there's actually five of them in different chapters. That, by the way, is exactly the same as saying what is socket. So man-f and apropos are the same. If I want to see a particular page, say chapter 7, I can do man-7 socket. And I'm getting the man page in chapter 7, which is rather detailed. If I want to see them all at once, I can say man-a socket for all, I guess. And I can space my way through this one. If I hit Q, it's telling me if I hit return, I'll see the next one 3P, so let's do that. I'll hit Q again, you see, if I want to get out rather than going through the rest of them, the next one would be 7, I can hit Control c Control d would just skip the next one. If I want to see all man pages that have the word socket in their basic description, I do that with man-k. And it's a rather long list because sockets are pretty basic and involve all sorts of things on your system. Man-k is exactly the same as typing apropos socket, and I get the exact same thing. So that's just some basic day-to-day -day functioning of using man to get information. You should play around with different man pages and look at the real contents in them and see how they differ from page to page.